Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Atelier Lulua, the Alchemy Riddle, chapter number 6. So, let's just jump straight into things, shall we? So, to start off, we have the main story requirement, the Exorcism Strategies. Now, in order to do this, you must first find the item Destroyed Grimoire. Now, this is a synthesis material that is located in the monastery and is in plentiful supply. So, you should get quite a few of these. And second of all, you need to create the magic paint from one of the earlier riddles. Now, it doesn't matter what the quality is, what effects or traits it has, you simply need to craft the magic paint. And that's it for the story one there, so let's move on to the basic riddle, shall we? So the first one is the mysterious moving rope. And in order to get this, you must first acquire some hay. Now, you required hay earlier on, so chances are you have already cleared this one. And then finally, you need to defeat the Shadow Archies, which are a type of rabbit monster. And they are located in the Quile Forest, which is located up here on the north of the map. So, with that one out of the way, let's move on to number two, which is Shoes Treasured by Travellers. And this unlocks the exploration item, Traveller Shoes. These increase your movement speed in the areas. So, in order to do this, you must first craft a living rope, which obviously we just unlocked in the previous riddle. And you also need to craft a tanned leather. It doesn't matter about any trait, quality or effects, so you simply need to craft both of them to unlock this riddle. So, moving on, we have the water, wheel, uh, the water wheel Lake Forest. And in order to unlock this, which actually unlocks the Quile Forest, which you need for the previous two riddles, you first need to visit the Ancient Monastery, which you do as part of the story. And in there, on the last area of the monastery, there is a boss-type monster, which looks like a bear, the Yellow Sign. All you need to do is defeat that monster, and this riddle will be completed. So... Let's move on to number four, which is objects imbued with divine power. And this unlocks the mystical ankh. Now for this one, you simply need to go to the monastery again. That is a story requirement. And you simply need to defeat some ghosts located in the monastery, which again, you will do as part of the story. So this one should unlock for you pretty much automatically. So moving on to the wild meat dish, which gives you a recipe for the special meat item. So, in order to do this, you must defeat the bat type monster, the frozen Charopateras. And these are located in the caves just east of Arkley's, which are the mining caves which you unlocked previously. So, chances are you have already defeated these types of monsters. And finally, you need to obtain some fresh meat, which are located in the Foggy Marsh. You simply need to defeat the wolf-type monsters there for this to drop. Chances are you already have plenty of these, though, so this one should again unlock pretty much right away for you. So, moving on to Spirit Breath, the last of the basic riddles. So, in order to get this, you must acquire the material Undying Wind. Now, Undying Wind is located at the Lakeside Forest, otherwise known as the Quile Forest, which we unlocked earlier on. And finally, you also need to acquire the Elemental Fragments. Now, the Elemental Fragments are dropped by almost all Elemental-type monsters, which are located in various different types of maps. Uh, the main one that you could get is the Modis Ruins, as they are in plentiful supply in the last area there. So... With the basics out of the way, let's move on to the advanced ones, shall we? So the first one for the advanced unlocks the black and white supplements. Two very, very, very important synthesis items if you are going to be going into post-game. You absolutely want these. Trust me on this. So, in order to get this, you must first uh, craft a distilled water. So, in order to craft a distilled water, you must first obtain a recipe book from Arland at the, uh, I can't remember the name of the place, but it's basically the cooking place. Go in there and you can buy the reference book from him. And then, after that, you have to craft a high quality red supplement, which is basically uh, just a box standard red supplement 
from the very start of the game. However, you must craft it with a quality of at least 51 or higher. Once that's done, you will unlock both of these. So, we shall move on to the powered up spike bomb. And this unlocks the Omega Craft. Now, let me just say very, very quickly. A properly built Omega Craft is the strongest attack item in the game. You want this. Hands down, you want this. Because this will be how you defeat DLC bosses, post-game bosses, everything like this. When you get to end game and you start building up your ultimate items, this thing is a absolute monster. So, how do you get it? So, first of all, you need to use the normal bog standard craft 20 times in battle. Now, raid interrupts do not count for this. You have to actually use it through the item command with an alchemist. And then finally, you have to craft a high quality craft. I know that sounds a little weird. You have to synthesize a craft. But this craft has to have a quality of 100 or more. Now, at this point of the game, that shouldn't be too challenging as long as you're using the tonic items and you know you're making use of the quality up traits. Um, however, creating a quality 100 plus craft later on in the game will be simplicity in and of itself because materials towards the end of the game pretty much always have 150 to 200 to even 300 quality as a starting point. So, once you've crafted your craft with 100 quality and you've used the normal craft 20 times in battle, this will be unlocked. So let's move on, shall we? So for this one, this is two more symbols. Uh, these ones, unfortunately, aren't very good as they pretty much just give a glow to your weapons. However, you do still need to do the riddle for them, unfortunately. So in order to do this riddle, you must first craft the green glow symbol and the red ray symbol, which you unlocked earlier on through a different riddle. So, let's move on, shall we? Now, for this one, <coughs> excuse me, for greater strength 3, uh, unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure on the exact level because this one unlocked automatically for me when I got it. Uh, however, this one, you need to acquire a adventure level of, I believe it's going to be around 30. Because each time they go up, they seem to only move up in increments of 5. And the last one required was 25. So I can only assume this one is actually 30. However, if you don't have the first one unlocked, then just simply level up and you will unlock it eventually. I'm sorry I cannot give you the exact number for this. And finally, you need to defeat the Pulse Type Bat Monster. Now, the Pulse Type is located in one of the caves. Uh, let's just take a look on the exact location of that for you all. Uh, monsters, uh, bats, 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 where are they? Here we go, Pulse Wind. So the Pulse Wind is located in the Ancient Monastery, which is a story dungeon that you unlock as part of the story. So chances are you have already defeated these monsters. So this one should unlock ideally automatically for you. So... Let's move on to the last one for chapter number six. And this one requires you to use interrupt items a specific number of times. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact number because, again, this one was unlocked automatically for me. Since the last one was 50 UCs, I'm going to assume this one is between 50 and 100, though. Uh, again, chances are you should have this one unlocked automatically just by playing the game normally. And then finally, you must defeat a Lesso Draco type monster. Now, this is a uh, sort of a unique boss type monster. However, even though it is a dragon, unlike previous Atelier games, it is actually very, very simple. And it is located in the Quee Forest. But that's going to be it for chapter number six of the Alchemy Riddle, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope it's helped. If it has, then hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.